Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I finally received my Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette in the mail late last night. I was hoping it would arrive earlier yesterday, but typically UPS, which is where I get most of my Sephora orders from, is late in the night. So I didn't get it until like 6 p.m. So I am up early to film, edit, upload. I feel bad because I'm literally like the last YouTuber to put a video up. So I hope you guys still wanna see my thoughts. But this is the brand new Major Dimension 2 rose eyeshadow palette from Patrick Ta. You guys know my love for Patrick Ta cream blushes and his eyeshadow palette. It's just so gorgeous. One of my favorites ever since its release. So when I saw a rose version, I audibly gasped. I was stalking Sephora. We're in the middle of the spring savings event, so everybody is kind of purchasing new products or stocking up on, you know, their favorites. But this, I went into store to try to get it on the first. I also ordered ordered it online really early in the morning and paid for the one day shipping because really I just didn't know if they were gonna have it. And when I went in store, they wouldn't sell it to me. They're not selling them in store for a while. So I was hoping my shipping would be a little bit quicker, but you know, I don't know what it is about where I live, but even if I pay the $17 shipping, it still takes like four days to get to me. So I'm just happy to have it. I took a peek at it last night and showed it on Instagram. It is so pretty. So today we're gonna do swatches, comparison, demo, and my first impressions, and I'm really excited. So I will link this down below as well as all the other products that I'm wearing. If you're new here, I hope you subscribe I do a ton of just new makeup content, tons of brands at Sephora, reviews, first impressions. I truly am just like a makeup lover and I pride myself on being honest but not being nasty. So I have no problem telling you when a product doesn't work for me and I will explain who I think it may work for or if I just think you should avoid it overall. But I really love giving recommendations. I love demoing, I love zooming in. So you can really see how products apply. You can get my opinion but also see for yourself how products look. So I hope that is helpful. I would love if you would subscribe. Also wanted to say that the Sephora Squad testimonials close on April 6th, which I think is tomorrow. So if any of you would like to leave me a testimonial to be a part of the Sephora Squad, first of all, thank you so much to everybody who's taken the time to do so. It closes tomorrow, April 6th, and then they choose like finalists. So if you would like to leave me a testimonial and you haven't had a chance to yet, I would greatly appreciate it. I will leave the link at the top of my description box. It's just a really good opportunity with Sephora and we know that I love Sephora here on my channel. So I'll leave that information down below. Thank you to everybody who's taken the time to do so. I appreciate it so much. Uh, also, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out and I just appreciate all of you. I know I have some new faces here, so welcome. And I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's go ahead and dive in. So I always like to give a little information before we jump into the demo. So this is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 Rose Eyeshadow Palette. This retails for $68 and it is available now if you are shopping the Sephora sale. I believe today VIB can shop, so right now Rouge and VIB, and then in a couple days everybody, meaning Beauty Insiders. So if you wanna pick this up, highly recommend doing it before the sale is over. I'm actually shocked that they've dropped so many new releases during the sale. A lot of times in the past I feel like they would drop them like right after, and it's like, what? Like just to not give you that discount, but they really have dropped so many, which I'm very thankful for. So this is what the box packaging looks like. I believe it is the same as his original palette. It has that standard rose gold that he has on a lot of his products. But I did notice, just from looking at other reviews, I was so excited. I was like watching everybody's videos, like honestly just so envious, like I want my palette to come. So I did notice that they have this new outline on the actual packaging, which I believe makes it look more luxe. It's just like a really nice touch that makes it stand out a little bit more. So this is what the inside looks like. So in here you get five mattes, five metallic shimmers, and then you also get the creams and it has the little cover so that the creams stay nice and they don't dry out or they don't get in your shadows. So I wanna do some swatches and I wanna compare this to the original. The original is one of my favorites. I just can't get enough of it, so I'm so happy to see another color story. Next, I would like to see like cool tones, like smoky eye tones. I think that would be beautiful. So here are the two palettes side by side. There's some similarities with some of the deeper shades, but overall, you can really tell that the original palette is very just 
neutral nude, whereas this new one has more romantic tones, berries, pinks, purples, even some maroon type color in there. So I think that this is really going to give you a different look than the original. And I know that I love this formula, but overall the palette layout is pretty much the same. The new palette does have one extra shimmer in there, whereas the original has sort of like a matte with glitter in it. So maybe he got the feedback that people really didn't, you know, care for that and decided to put another shimmer in. This palette is made in the USA and has a 12 month shelf life. I do want to swatch these and I will put comparisons of both of the palette swatches in case you're interested. I have heard that these are not as hard pressed, the metallic or the pearlescent shades, than the original, which they can be a little hard pressed in the original, but I just use my finger. Oh yeah, those feel lighter already. Ooh, they're so pretty. So the original, sometimes you just have to really dig in there and just kind of like swipe and layer them. These are so pretty and they're definitely different tones. I mean, you have more of like a copper red, a gold, pink, and then more of like a lilac purple. So I'm excited to get this on my eyes. I will leave a link down below to the new palette as well as the original in case you're interested, as well as the Sephora sale information. But I don't wanna wait any longer. I wanna dive in and see what I can do with this. So I smoothed out any creases on my lid. I did a very, very light set of powder really in the crease area and above but I kept the lid pretty much unset because I really want to do something smoky actually before I start I am going to put some powder under here just to catch any fallout I've never looked better okay let's jump in I'm going to start out with the cream shade here now these creams are really interesting this is the deepest one in the palette they are I would say drier but I think it's a good thing because they're not slipping and sliding all over they really have like a tack to them so when you lay them down and you put a deeper shade on top it really just sticks to it I would definitely put powder over these like I wouldn't apply this and then not put a powder over top because I feel like on me at least I've tried to do like wings with this and without putting powder shadow on top it will transfer so just keep that in mind so I would use this pretty much as a base which is what I'm gonna do just to give me that depth so I'm just going to holy Wow, okay. I did not expect that much pigment, but I think I maybe just like grabbed a ton. <laughs> Hold on. We're gonna go on each eye here. Wow, that is more pigmented than I was anticipating. So I am going to challenge myself to not do a wing today. It's, you know, it's just really hard for me. <clears throat> it's like that uh, security blanket that I just feel like I look better with, but try to do more of like a rounded shape. So I really wanna make this smoky and intense. So I think I'm going to take this shade right here, this matte shade with a clean brush, and I want to pack this on that cream. So because I have that cream down, it's going to appear darker and just really stick and just be really, really intense. Okay, so with another clean brush, I'm gonna start softening these edges. And this is where you gotta have a little patience. And I'm using very light pressure. I just want to soften the corners without any products. I'm just kind of moving whatever I already laid down. Okay, so we're going in layers, trust the process. So next I wanna go into this pinky shade. This actually looks to be like more of a cool toned shade that has a little bit more of like a purple pinky undertone. And I am going to use a different brush and with the lightest pressure blend right on the edge. So to blend even more, I think I'm going to try the top shade mixed with this. I want something quite light that is going to soften any edges up here. So we have like a gradient blend. So I'm basically going like almost up to my eyebrow, but we're just going dark to light. These are blending beautifully, super pigmented. Just honestly, I'm not surprised. I love the original. This light shade is gorgeous. It's like a peachy pink, and it's really nice 
just to like diffuse the edges. It would be really beautiful on the brow bone or on the lid even. Okay, so now that we have a pretty good blend on the edges, I wanna go back in and reinforce what we already did. So I'm gonna go into this shade again, which is the one we started with, and I'm just gonna make sure that this is packed on where I originally put it. And then taking that really pretty cool toned pink and just blending right in the crease so I don't have any choppiness in the center. Okay, now here comes the fun part and I don't know where I wanna go. For some reason, I feel like everybody's sort of staying in like this realm, I'm flipping you off, but I'm like, do I go for the more Ooh, I don't know, these are so pretty. I'm trying to decide. I'm gonna start out with this shade right here, which is sort of like that lilac-y toned pink. Yeah, this one right here. I am gonna use my fingers, holy, oh my gosh. That is so pretty. Wow, okay, so these are not as hard pressed. Wow. <gasps> I didn't expect that. Probably because it's over that like base. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Wow. Oh, I love. You guys know that I don't usually like, oh my gosh, like gasp over makeup. Like I don't, I'm not someone to apply like a highlighter and then be like, oh, like it's shocking, but like holy, Molly, this is beautiful. Oh, I am wowed right now. And it's like, I wanna add more, but I'm afraid because I like how it looks. I went ahead and applied a thin line of liner. I didn't do a wing, are you proud of me? I'm gonna go into the deepest matte here and I'm gonna use a sort of like smudger brush and I'm going to try to smudge this out. Now, there's no black in here, so I'm hoping that this will be dark enough just to just soften the outer edge a little bit. I feel good about how this is looking. I'm gonna go off camera, throw on lashes, wipe away the powder, and then we'll finish off the lower lash line. Lashes are on. I wanna go ahead and start on the lower lash line. I'm gonna be using the Nabla Cupid's Arrow Eyeliner in three. This is a gorgeous, purple deep tone. I'm gonna apply this in my lower lash line and my waterline and then smoke it out and then we're gonna finish off. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and smoke and smudge this before it sets down. Look how different my eye looks just doing that. It's like a totally different vibe. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other side. Just to intensify that, I'm gonna go into that first shade that we used on the lid. And I'm just going to basically just smoke right on top of it. And then right under that, doing the same thing with that cool pink shade. So I'm really smoking this low. Pretty much like under my eye bag. And then to really bring in the colors, I am gonna mix these two as well, just to give a little bit of warmth. So don't be afraid to like really pull this down. It brings like a really pretty like peachy tone. I do wanna try a little bit of this pink shade on the inner corner. I'm not sure if it'll be too dark. Yeah, I just, ooh, that's so pretty. Wow. Okay guys, so this is the look I came up with using the new Patrick Ta palette, and I am honestly blown away. I knew that I would enjoy it. I did not realize how much I would love this palette. 
It is just so incredibly gorgeous, so pigmented, easy to use. There is variation here if you really look at the different tones, and that's something that I really love. If you go into this shade, it is much more purpley and pinky. You can see how I got more of like a purple look. But if you were to stick into this shade, you're gonna get more of that sort of like maroon, you know, rose tones. I think they do correspond, which is really beautiful. So I feel like this is versatile because you can do like maroon, you can do copper, you can do pink, you can do lilac or the gold neutral. He knocked it out of the park with this. I don't know what else to say other than do yourself a favor, add this to your Sephora cart, especially now during the sale. I am blown away, like just so pigmented, gorgeous. I do agree that these uh, topper shades are not as hard pressed, so they're easier to work with than the original, and I already love the original, but I barely dipped in and you saw my reaction. I mean, I am just honestly floored, floored at how beautiful this is, excited to play with it more. There's a lot of depth in here, which I love. It's not 50 shades of beige, as I like to say, so I feel like it'll work on every skin tone, and I think it also will complement the original palette. You can kind of mix and match. So gorgeous, I am so happy to have this. If you have not tried, first of all, his blushes, because I'm wearing that too, or his eyeshadow palettes, top, top tier in my collection. I've just been so impressed with the formulas, the colors. He really is an artist. And if you've been on the fence and you trust my recommendations and you typically love products that I recommend, I think that you would be extremely thrilled to have this palette. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Like, I am so excited to play with this. So happy I picked it up. I'm happy it's still in stock. And I wanna see what else he comes out with. I'm just, really, his brand is becoming one of my favorites, so I love it. I don't know what else to say. Let me know what you guys think down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. So I will link the palette down below as well as everything else I'm wearing on my face. Do let me know what you think in the comments. I love to chat with you guys. If you're new here, I hope you subscribe and stick around. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad that I got this palette finally and I got to play with it, so I appreciate you guys hanging on and waiting for me. Be on the lookout for more Sephora content. I have trying new makeup coming as as well as hauls. So those will be coming in the next week or so. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.